Hey, what's up guys? I'm out in the mountains today and uh, cruising around with the truck. Finally got a boost gauge installed and we're gonna go ahead and see how much boost does the power driven diesel ultimate towing compound kit actually make. All right, let's get at it. Well, if you're new to the channel, this is my very dirty 96 Dodge Ram 3500. Being a 96, this is of course a uh, 12 valve. Um, I've recently pulled this truck down to the frame. And let me tell you, there's a lot of stuff to still get sorted out. Anyways, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm pretty uh, comfortable to take this thing out on the highway and really start playing around. Um, I've started cranking up the pre-boost and uh, before we get into the test, I just wanna let you guys know some of the setup things on this truck. All right, so first of all, uh, this is the uh, Ultimate towing compound kit from Power Driven Diesel. I just threw a new filter on that. Um, this has also got a Banks twin ram. This truck has uh, five by 16 injectors. Um, it's a fresh rebuild, new pistons, everything like that. Uh, it's also got this uh, pretty bonkers uh, AFE Blade Runner GT intercooler. That was a very expensive unit. I can't imagine that's gonna affect boost numbers, but it's supposed to flow, uh, I think it's 30% uh, better than stock, so I'm sure it would get you up into the boost quicker. Uh, this truck has also got a uh, 150 gallon per hour air dog on it. Uh, the P-Pump has seven millimeter delivery valves from Power Driven Diesel. It's uh, been racked. Um, I've got the uh, star wheel cranked to the max. The AFC is full forward. There's no fuel plate and um, the pre-boost screw is all the way in so um, I'm pretty sure that's about as uh, maxed out as it can get. It's also got a uh, Torque Tech, I think it's the OVO60 overflow valve as well as uh, the, I think it's the Michigan Motorsports uh, rack plug and the, uh, I think it's the rack or the foot or whatever has been modified for the AFC Live kit from Power Driven Diesel. That's actually not on here right now, but moral of the story is this pump is pretty much cranked to the max, um, you know, without pulling it apart and changing some of the internal components. I'm pretty sure this is about as much as you can get out of it, which is 460 cc's. So anyways, I'm gonna be putting this truck on a dyno. Uh, I actually just booked an appointment for next Friday, so about a week from now. So we're finally gonna find out how much power this thing makes. Bit of a spoiler alert, uh, I had this thing out yesterday and uh, had it up to 68 pounds of boost, but I was in a situation where I couldn't really uh, continue on like that. So this is a much better situation. We're out on the highway here. It is uh, on a road that goes up about 4,000 feet of elevation in a pretty short distance. So I should be able to load it up good and uh, see what kind of boost numbers we're putting out. And um, I would imagine we'll probably get up around 70, maybe 68 the top, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, the only other thing I should mention is that this truck does seem to have some boost leaks. It's a little bit sluggish in the throttle response department at the moment. And I'm kind of curious to see once I get all that stuff sorted out, does that affect the overall boost numbers? So anyways, let's jump in, take this thing for a cruise. All right, so here we go. This is, uh, this boost gauge goes up to 100. So 70 would be right about there. Uh, I'm gonna do this in third gear locked and uh, we'll see how we do. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I'm just at home editing this right now. Um, this footage was actually really bad from the GoPro. Uh, I thought I had the angle figured out, but it, the gauges were just in the bottom tiny chunk of the screen and I had to really zoom in to be able to see what was going on. Um, next time I do this, I'll just use a suction cup off the window or something and hopefully we won't have this problem again. So I apologize, this footage is pretty bad. I think I've got it, I uh, got the pre-boost cranked up pretty high right now. I noticed my EGTs were climbing pretty quick. So very soon we're gonna do a test with the uh, power driven diesel AFC live and uh, see how well we can control that. All right, here we go. Break. A little bit flat there. I want to try and do it when it's 
on a bit of a hill. Alright. Slow down to about 50 miles an hour. And now let's give her a go. 60, 70, yeah, right around 68 pounds. put it into overdrive and lock up the EGTs really start climbing we're at about a thousand right now but if I get on it that's actually not bad about 1100 that's pretty good try that again we're locked up about 950 EGTs 35 pounds of boost bring her up to Alright folks, I'm very sorry that was a terrible camera angle. I actually took a couple of test shots before I left. I had a GoPro on my head, but once I was, uh, you know, zooming down the highway, I guess my head was pointed in a different direction. Um, anyways, it seemed to be about 68 pounds. Um, the EGTs seemed pretty reasonable. I think they got up around 1300 for just a second. Uh, I'm sure maybe warmer weather or towing a big load or whatever, that could probably go way up from there. But as I mentioned, I do have the Power Driven Diesel AFC Live that is not installed at the moment. So if you guys are interested, uh, we'll probably do a test video of that coming up soon. Uh, anyways, um, you know, I've wondered how much boost this thing was putting out. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see that it seems to be a healthy number. And uh, the fact that I have boost leaks, uh, it'll be really interesting to see once those are sealed up. Does that have any uh, overall effect on total boost numbers? Anyways, pretty amazing what a uh, bit of elevation does. It is completely snowing up here. It's still pretty warm. It's not really sticking to the ground, but I'm sure it would be tonight. Anyways, I'm going to have hopefully a lot of videos coming up in the next little while like this. Uh, like I said, I'll be getting this thing on the dyno. And uh, I've actually discovered there's a place in town here called Dirty Diesel where I had my uh, truck in for the alignment this morning. So I want to get this thing on there a bunch. And I'd like to try out a whole bunch of different things. I've got this fancy uh, intercooler. I think I paid about 2500 Canadian for it. And uh, I also still have the stock one. So maybe we should do a test where... Uh, you know, we'll try those against each other. Um, other things like the uh, overflow valve, I've got one of those, uh, the Torque Tech uh, OVO 60 HP or something like that. I think that's the uh, model number, but there's two or one or two up above that. So maybe I'll try the one below and the one above or whatever it is, but you know, go in there and do a few pulls of those, see if that makes any difference. And maybe we can get it out to, uh, doing a controlled test on the highway here. Um, you know, I can set the cruise control at 100 kilometers an hour and, you know, uh, slow down to 70 and just hit cruise control and let it get up there. And we'll see, you know, what's the EGTs doing, things like that. Um, in addition, uh, this would be also pretty exciting, but a lot of work on my part, is I still have that other Hamilton cam. I went to this one, which is a stock one, just because I wanted to get a little crisper uh, throttle response off the line. But, you know, for the sake of uh, entertainment, I could probably be talked into uh, throwing that other cam back in and we can do dyno pulls and just see is there any difference. So anyways, if you've got any ideas of stuff you'd like to see. Another thing, actually, while I mention it, I've got the uh, five inch uh, MBRP exhaust with a muffler. I'm sure I can go to a muffler shop and get a piece of five inch straight pipe and toss her in there. And there we go. We can do a test on that. See how much power you lose for getting a muffler. So anyways, I hope we can start cranking things up and really start doing some fun and exciting things on this channel and with this truck. Um, I should also mention uh, pretty soon I'm going to be having the Dakota on here a bunch. I'm going to be joining an autocross uh, sort of league in the Okanagan here and I want to do a whole bunch of that kind of stuff so that should be fun. I'll also probably be throwing uh, headers and you know start picking away at that as a project and then uh, this week I'm going back to Vancouver and getting the Xterra so I will also be uh, having some fun with that and beating it up off road and having a good time. So anyways if you're new to the channel uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. Please ring the bell to be notified if you want to check me out on some other social media i am uh, stocky bald man on facebook and tiktok and i am the stocky bald man on instagram anyways thanks for watching uh. anyways thanks for watching i hope you have a good day see you on the next one